The quality of video that you can get out of an iPhone is truly insane. However, 50% of a video is an audio experience. And so if you can level up your microphone, you can truly level up your video. However, it's important to identify what kind of videos you'll be creating for your iPhone because depending on the kind of videos you're creating will determine the kind of mic you should be buying. So that's why in this video, I'll be breaking down the five best mics for your iPhone so that by the end of this video, you'll know which mic you should buy for your videos. Let's get it. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Takori with Think Media and this channel is all about helping you build your influence with online video and we do that by sharing the best tips and tools on how to do so so if you're interested in that be sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll be sure to post links down to everything that I mentioned in this video down in the description below so be sure to check out the description as well as to check out the product to see if there's a used deal because Amazon does offer a warranty on their used products so if you want to save some money you can buy the used and be protected with warranty but again down in the description below if you want to check that out but the first style of video I wanted to talk about is with vlogging this is when you're just talking to your smartphone maybe at arm's length distance or so uh, but having the onboard mic is great but the first mic I would encourage you to invest in is a $50 mic, and that is the Deity V-Mic D4 Mini. Kind of like a mouthful, but let's just call it the Deity Mini. Um, but this is a $49 mic, comes with almost everything you need. You're definitely gonna need with some of the mics I'm even gonna mention in this video is a lightning adapter uh, for your iPhone so that you can plug in a cable. But what's so cool about this mic is it does come with both cables. So if, if you need a cable to plug into your camera one day, it's gonna come with the mic, as well as the TRRS, which is the three prong, which plugs right into the adapter, which then plugs into your iPhone. Now I wanna test this mic, but I also wanna test it right against the Shure MV88. This mic in particular is a mic that actually has a lightning port uh, built into it, so it butts right up against the iPhone itself, which is super nice and convenient. Whereas the Deity, you're gonna need a rig to actually hold up the mic, whether that be a, a clamp or what have you. Uh, but nonetheless, let's jump into some tests to compare these two, and I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the description below as you hear these tests. So right now, you are listening to the onboard mic of my iPhone 13 mini. This is what you get straight out of the box. I'm in my office, in my studio. Uh, I got some sound treatment here and there, a little bit of carpet and some furniture in the room. But nonetheless, it's what it sounds like uh, straight out of the box. I'm gonna plug in the Deity mic right straight on this one clip. Listening to the Deity D4 Mini. Um, it's a directional mic, so it's pointed at my mouth and it sounds great and it'll cut out some noise around it, which is a great thing. Uh, but got the lightning adapter plugged in. Let me know what you think in regards to the uh, onboard mic versus this mic. And the other mic I wanna test side by side with this is uh, this MV88. Now this is a $150 mic uh, that is very convenient, comes with an app, but just wanna stack it up right against this. So let's plug it in and see how it sounds. So now you're listening to the Shure MV88, a lightning mic, so it plugs right into the iPhone. And I personally have been loving this mic for vlog setups for the iPhone because of the simplicity uh, and the convenience of it, but also how good it sounds. Uh, this mic is great for the use of vlogging, but might I say it's also great for the use of a microphone. So let's just say you had uh, a camera rolling and you wanted to just talk to the mic and rather than using a camera's you know, onboard mic, you wanted to use your mic from your smartphone and then you could just sync it up in post like what Kyle did on this video. Thank you, Kyle, for syncing it up. Um, but this mic sounds incredible. It sounds like a, a very high quality mic and it is. And what I love about this mic is that it comes with a app that allows you to adjust this mic to be used in certain different ways. You can adjust the pickup pattern, but you can also adjust the mic gain as well. But all that to say, a great mic for vlogging. And again, would love to know your thoughts about how this mic stacks up against the Deity. But when it comes to vlogging, these would be the two mics that I would recommend you looking into. So the next style of content I wanna cover is talking head video. If you're gonna use your iPhone to record videos like this, where the camera is stationary on a tripod, like what you see right now, uh, you want an audio solution that brings the microphone from the camera all the way to you. And just so you know, that's how you level up your audio. Just bring your audio source closest to your mouth. And that's why I wanna first talk about the Deity V-Lab. This is a $50 clip-on mic that you could clip onto your shirt or your jacket, and it plugs right into the lightning adapter. Then you can plug that right into your iPhone, and it gives you a great audio solution no matter how far your iPhone is. Now, it is a cabled wire. Some people, I made a video in the past on this mic, and they're like, it's, there's a, there's, it's not wireless. I'm like, bro, you're not gonna find a wireless $50 mic solution anyway. 
But what's cool is that it's reliable because there's a wire and it is a really long wire. It's about a 20 meter wire, so you can go pretty far from your camera if you'd want to. But nonetheless, this is a great budget solution. Now, if you wanted to step into what I'm kind of using, which is like a boom mic, as you can see right here, you can actually, I would recommend the same mic that I recommended earlier, the Deity D4 Mini. And this video is not sponsored by Deity, might I say but you're gonna have to build it out, right? You're gonna have to get the boom stand to hold up the mic and then a clamp to kind of hold it in place as well as a cable that can run all the way to your smartphone. But if you like that setup, I personally like that setup, it's a move to go and I would say it would run you at around $110 or so with the setup I would recommend. Um, but the next option that you can go with is a wireless solution and you can go with the Deity Pocket wireless. This solution hands down is the most convenient route. If you find yourself someone who doesn't need the gear all over the place, then getting the pocket wireless is great. It's about $170 at the time of shooting this video here in the US, but it's a wireless mic. So you can clip it on or leave it where your tripod is and where your smartphone is or your iPhone, and then have the lavalier clipped onto your jacket and then the pack clipped on maybe inside your jacket or you know on your, on your hip or in your pocket. And what's so cool about this solution is it allows you to move around uh, whereas if the camera is steady, but you're moving around, it's a great solution because the mic isn't gonna move. One reason I like the Deity Pocket Wireless is because it is a high quality wireless mic is you can actually use it when you get a camera. Most of these mics that I'm talking about, by the way, you can use when you get a camera, but it'd be awesome to get a camera and already own the Deity Pocket Wireless uh, because it'll just make your life easier because of having a wireless audio solution. One cool side feature about the Deity Pocket Wireless is that it turns into essentially a wireless USB mic where you can plug in the receiver into your computer or laptop, you know, clip on your mic and connect it. And then you can conduct a live stream or even Zoom call with this mic, which is super cool and gives me a great segue to talk about the sponsor of this video, which is StreamYard. StreamYard is how we live stream here at Think Media, our podcast channel, as well as our private Facebook groups. But essentially StreamYard makes live streaming so easy, but yet looks so professional. It's really easy to invite people onto your live stream and interview them on StreamYard, as well as be able to transition to and from yourself and the people you are interviewing, as well as share a slideshow presentation and transition to and from your slides. And recently I made a tutorial on how to make a reaction video without any editing. And I use StreamYard to demonstrate that because you can upload videos to StreamYard and then also react to videos in real time. And so all that to say, if you wanna check out StreamYard for yourself and try it for free for 10 days, be sure to check out the link down in the description below. Thank you so much StreamYard for sponsoring this video. The next style of content you could be creating with your iPhone is what is called a video podcast. This is when you have a microphone like this uh, in the shot, whereas the other mics I've been talking about are more discreet mics. But now you see this mic in the shot, but this is the Samson Q2U and I have it plugged right into my iPhone. It is a USB mic that is $70. It comes with everything you need other than the USB to lightning adapter. That is a $30 adapter that you'll need to get uh, if you're gonna get this mic. But this mic gives you that nice rich radio podcast voice because it is a dynamic mic. And I love this mic because literally without any tweaks to the audio, it sounds amazing. I think it sounds incredible for $70. And if you were starting a video podcast, this would be the way to go. And if you are using your iPhone to shoot a video podcast, know that you can use a USB mic, which is a cool thing to know. You can totally use USB mics, but I've never tested using multiple USB mics. I don't think you quite can. I don't think the phone will be able to distinguish. However, I would say if you have uh, two guests on your show and you wanted to do a video podcast, maybe interview them, I would encourage you to look into the Rode Wireless Go 2. It is a wireless lavalier solution for two people, but only has one receiver. It's a very minimal setup and super easy to use. Uh, the Deity Pocket Wireless that came in at around $170 only had one mic. The Rode Wireless Go 2 has two mics, comes with two wireless lav mics. And if you were interviewing somebody with your iPhone, I would encourage you to potentially look into that solution for a video podcast of two people uh, because of the consistency of audio. And what's cool is because there is a, a pack that would plug right into your iPhone, you would then be able to have the audio inside of your video where you don't have to sync it later in post, which is super nice and convenient and something you don't wanna have to deal with. But nonetheless, if you have a video podcast and you're starting it with your iPhone, you could totally use a USB mic or the Rode Wireless Go 2. But those are the mic solutions that I would encourage you depending on whatever content style you're trying to go for. And I'd love to know down in the comments from you, what kind of content style are you trying to create with your smartphone? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you wanna check out another video on how you can level up your videos from your smartphone, go ahead and click or tap the screen. But I can't wait to see you in another video. Peace.